Okay, here's a small tutorial about flying a quadcopter, a basic level tutorial. For example, this one is the transmitter. It looks like this. The transmitter of the quadcopter. It's moving all around. The right stick is moving all around also. Okay, and this is the quadcopter itself. It's a Saima X 5C. These are the propellers. It has four propellers, so that's why it's a quad cop copter. Quad means four. Okay, and let's start with some basic things. So here on the transmitter, on this one, we have the left stick, which is moving all around. We have the right stick, that one's moving all around also. These buttons are, are for making some corrections the other buttons also exactly on this model this one is for making photos and videos but the onboard camera is removed this is the battery of the quadcopter it's a small battery okay and this one has also batteries here four double a batteries okay so both of them are electric devices and let's start with some basic things for example this stick on the left side as you can see it's freely moving up and down but this one is spring loaded it comes back to the initial position this one comes back on the horizontal direction but it won't come back on the vertical direction and that's because this one up and down is controlling the height of the quadcopter so if you raise this one this joystick up for example like there then the quadcopter will go higher if you lower it then it will go lower so this is for going up and this is for going down up in the air and down to the ground okay you can move this one to the left or to the right that one left and right is for turning left or turning right so if I move this one the joystick to the left like so then it will continuously turn to the left if I let it over it will not turn if I move it to the right then it will turn to the right continuously until the joystick this stick is released okay so that's up going up going down turning left and turning right okay you can combine these movements also so you can turn to the left while going up or while descending so in this position I'm descending and turning I'm going up and turning to the left same here I'm turning to the right and going up turning to the right and descending going down okay let's go to this joystick this joystick is for example the left and right movement is for inclining the quadcopter so it will turn this way and it will go that way to the right and if I move it to the left then it will tilt this way and it will go to the left that way so joystick to the right it will go to the right in a linear direction joystick to the left it will go that way in a linear direction the same thing with going ahead that will tilt it that way and go ahead that way forward if I move the joystick towards me down then it will turn this way it will come towards me so left right forward and backward okay if I talked about forward and backward that is forward and backward then we can see I painted this quadcopter the propellers were not black it's black because I wanted to make a 
distinguishing. The black is the rear part and the white propellers are the front part of the quadcopter. So if I move this stick ahead, up, then it will go that way. But if it's this way and I move it up, then it won't go that way because this is the head, the white one, and forward is this way. The quadcopter does not have a headless mode. In headless mode, the quadcopter would always go towards the transmitter. For example, if I pull the stick down, then it will come towards me. Whether this one is the front and that's the end, or this the front and that's the end. But since this quadcopter does not have headless mode, if I position it this way, then the front is to the left and the back is to the right. If I command it to go ahead, then ahead for him is this way, because the white propellers are here. If it's that way, and I press ahead, then ahead is that way. So you must know the direction of the quadcopter, and for that we have some LEDs here. The red LEDs are the front, and the green LEDs are the back. So you can see even in a lower light condition also. The plastic fell off from here. Okay, enough talking, let's get to some action. I won't fly high because it's very windy and this is very light and the wind will blow it away. So since there are electric devices, I have to turn on the transmitter. This is the on off button. And I have to turn on the quadcopter also. That's it, it's blinking. Blinking, that means that it's not bound to the transmitter. Not yet, so if I move any of the joysticks, it won't do anything unless this one is moved up and down. Now it's bound, and when it's bound, this quadcopter uh, is not flashing the LEDs, it's constantly on. Okay, so this one controls the height. So that's for going up and going down. If I don't move it, then it's spinning constantly. Okay, down. <laughs> so it's windy out here. That's why I don't want to fly it. Okay, and let's move it to the right, I mean left. Notice that it's not doing anything until you give it some thrust, that is, spin out the propellers from this one. Notice the movement. Ouch. Okay, so handle it with care. Spinning propellers at high speed will cause damage. So once again, some speed. And notice the directions. It's moving that way. Now to the left. Oops. It's fighting the wind, you constantly have to correct it.
okay if the wind blows it away then better get it down turn off this one when it's turned off then it loses the signal from the transmitter it's blinking we can turn off this one also And that's it for this basic tutorial, thanks for watching and bye bye.